Praise Lord Saints, uh, today I was enjoying this song. I will go to the prayer that you tell. I will tell. Your people will be my people and your God to be my God. Wherever you go, I will die. You will go to me. Jehovah's Christian, who has come. Amen. Anything but death separates you from me, Lord Jesus. It's a divine romance where uh, uh, I was feeling that how much crazy is the love. Uh, Lord Jesus, where I was uh, reading, uh, I was seeing, uh, I remembering, uh, reminding uh, all those events, whatever happened uh, in my life. I was thinking about uh, the marriage of my brother and sister when uh, their marriages were being completed. At that time, I was seeing uh, the brother was asking the, my brother to uh, have a promise with uh, the beloved sister. And at that time, they were giving the same promise that I will never leave you. Uh, you will be, I am always with you, that, this, everything. So, uh, even in Bible, it is written about uh, this, th the same thing. I was reading in uh, Second Kings, second chapter, where uh, Eliza was uh, about to leave. At that time, Elisha was following. Uh, we can see that one. It is completely from the Second Kings, second chapter, first to uh, the 25th, we can see, completely about uh, um, Elia and uh, Eliza and uh, Elisha, in that one, if we, I was reading about sixth one, sixth verse, second chapter, sixth verse. Then Eliza said to him, stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me on to the Jordan. And he said, as Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. Oh, here both, how much intimacy is there? The Eliza was been called by the Lord and he is about to leave, leave the Elisha. But Elisha said very clearly, I am not going to leave you until, how much, until you, you are, as Lord, as, as, as the Lord leaves and as your soul leaves, I will not leave. Means until your death, I am not going to leave you. This is the word where Elisha told to the Eliza. Eliza was saying two Three, four times, so many times, don't, you just leave me, three times, leave me, don't come. But he said, until you, your soul get apart from me, you, until you are alive, I will not leave you. So when he said this one, what, this is the thing what I observed, the intimacy of them. He knows that he will be going away, so he will be alone. But he said, I am not going to leave you until the death. This is the true promise of the marriage. Same thing, what happened is, I was reading the other side which we all know uh, that is about this uh, Ruth. When uh, I was reading the Ruth, uh, the book of Ruth, I was also been shocked over here uh, in the first chapter, uh, 17th verse, where you die, I will die, there I will be buried. The Lord do so to me and more so. If anything, but death parts, parts you and me. So here, Ruth was saying to uh, her auntie, Naomi, that I will not leave you. Is it only Ruth was there? No, Ruth was not only alone, but uh, her sister sister also there, Orpha. Orpha was there and she was there. I was reading what about the situation of Orpha in, uh, with Naomi. Uh, we can see very clearly in first uh, chapter, for, uh, Ruth chapter first 1, 14th verse, then they lifted up their voice and wept again, and Orpha kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. Here what I observed was, even both were crying, they don't want to get separate from the Naomi. Naomi said very clearly, you get married once again because your husband died, you go, uh, you can have marriage and you can lead your life very, uh, whatever you want. But uh, both of them, they said only one thing, they cried, we don't want to leave. 
but what I observed was here Orpha kissed her mother-in-law and went back. Whereas Ruth clung her, means tightly holding her. She is saying that I am not going to leave you. And she used this word, where you die, I will die. There will I be buried. The Lord do so to me and more, so, more also. If anything but death parts you and me. There are two situations which I observed. One is in the Ruth and the other one is in the second Kings. Uh, in the second Kings, uh, second chapter, uh, ninth, where, uh, sorry, uh, sixth one, where uh, Elia, uh, Eli, uh, Elisha speaks to the Eliza that I am not going to leave you. Only you, when, you, when your soul departs, that then only I will leave you. So until that much, he is having intimacy. So what happened? What is the thing which is making these words to come? The word which comes from the mouth should also come from the heart. And because in the heart there is a love. The main thing what I observed in them, both of them was the love. They had a love of that such an intimacy that they don't want to leave them. They don't want to leave them. When they don't leave, when they didn't left this uh, the person, then what had happened? We will see to the area, uh, this Elisha. When Elisha, uh, Elia was about to leave, then the Elisha, uh, Elisha, to the Elisha, what he got? Elia told Elisha what you want, because I am about to leave because the God is going to separate. Then in the uh, Second Kings, second chapter, ninth verse, we will see that. Uh, Please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. When he is about to leave, he got a double spirit of Elia, Eliza to the Elisha. When, in the same way, when we recall Ruth, Ruth, what, what she got? Ruth, she did not let the Naomi. With Naomi, the poverty she bade, everything she bade, she was along with the Naomi. So what had happened? She became a wife to Boaz. Wife of Boaz, what happened? We can remember that Naomi was also, Naomi when she went and uh, entered into Bethlehem, she's, uh, all the people were calling Naomi, Naomi. She said, no, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara. Because I'm not pleasant, I'm not um, happy, I'm very sore in my life. Uh, the situation was like that, but when they didn't left each other, what, uh, what happened to uh, Elisha was he got the double spirit of Eliza. What happened to the Ruth here was, the Ruth who, who is a Moabite means a Gentile, not only Gentile, she was been cursed, she is a cursed generation or uh, people, that person was been blessed because she got married to Boaz, we know very well, after Boaz, the Boaz begot Obed and Obed Jesse, Jesse became the father of David and David genealogy only Lord Jesus Christ came. The blessing had happened when they used, when they, when they uttered this word from their heart saying that we will not leave you. Wherever you go, we will go. Wherever you are, we will be. Your people are my people. Your God is my God. Only death can separate from you and me. Here, today, uh, that may be the Old Testament, uh, whatever the story had happened. Today, in Bible, today, the Lord speaks to the church. In Revelation, very clearly, the Lord speaks. Uh, in Revelation, second chapter, the Lord speaks to the church in Ephesus, saying that everything is good, but you lost the first love. What is this first love? The love where we got salvation. Where we remember the Lord, how He sacrificed His life for us. How much He had shed His blood for our sake. Our sins were been cleansed only because of the that pure blood. Oh Lord Jesus. We remember that day when we were taking the salvation, when we were taking the baptism. That time we remembered that the Lord, how much He loved us and we broken up. But as the time passed on, what had happened is, maybe be, uh, the church in Ephesus, uh, they lost that first love. Not that church in Ephesus. We are the part of the church. That church is I and you. The Lord speaks to us. Everything is fine. But you lost the first love. When we love the Lord. We will say the word. Wherever you go. I will go. Wherever you. Whomsoever your people are. They are my people. How much I love you? Until this death. This death separates you and me. Until that much. I love you Lord. 
the lord needs such a lovers this lord needs such a crazy people the lord is crazy about his bride are we bride crazy about the lord it was really hurting me touching my heart lord i want to completely surrender to you it's a divine romance between the lord and us how can we forget this one i was once again si singing this one i will go wherever you dwell i will dwell your people will be my people and your god will be my god wherever you go i will go wherever you dwell i will dwell your people will be my people and your god will be my god praise lord saints love the lord and tell to him lord we love you we love you until our death amen be blessed amen